<laughs> it's uh, 9.30 in the morning and uh, my wife is sleeping and I can't find a place to do a comic book haul. So I guess we're going to do it here. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Hello, YouTubers. Do more for three, and um, yeah, we're gonna do a haul. I have a bunch of books, but um, you're not even going to see everything that I got, but I kind of just highlight some pieces and stuff. Um, yeah, just super busy at work and um, also was a vendor uh, for the first time at a Hawaii toy and comic show. That was super, super fun. I enjoyed it. I had a good time and I got to meet a lot of great people. Um, the, the cool thing was actually a lot of people came up to me and they knew me from YouTube and um, they said hi to me. So, yeah, to all those people that uh, saw me at at the at the show and said hi to me, that was thank you so much. That was really really cool. That was very humbling. They had like about, jeez, I don't know, twenty twenty five people that I met, and I didn't even know. They're all like, oh yeah, we're sub to you. We're sub to you. And I'm like, well, that's kind of, that's kind of cool, man, to meet that much people. That was really awesome. I think um, one or two of them. People were uh, people that I met through Instagram, so that was really cool as well. Um, while I was there, I got to meet a really cool YouTuber who gave me a, a random act of kindness. So uh, flipping out, gave me a random act. Of he gave me this. Check that out. It's a um, Catwoman number thirty-two bombshell variant, and it's signed by Aunt Lucia. And um, <laughs> to be honest, man. I was like, try to stay cool, but I was and like inside, I was just like, oh. You know, I was just like, ah, but um, yeah, super, super, super stoked on this. And I uh, cannot thank Flippin' Out enough. Um, I'm going to leave a link to Flippin' Out. He's actually a YouTuber here um, in Hawaii. So uh, go ahead, sub him up, and um, I'll leave a link. You know what? Since we're talking about that, um, I'm also going to leave a link to Vila Loca 65 uh, He's another YouTuber. Uh, both of them are under 100. I would love if the uh, community and everybody, all my subscribers, go ahead, check out the link in the description, and... Um, sub them up, hit the notification bell, and, um, you know, I'll, I'll probably do a contest with one of these books as far as, like, the winners go. You know what? I'll do it right now. So, um, go ahead, sub both of those guys up, and um, after you sub them up, let me know that you sub them up, and then, actually, this Saturday, me, uh, let me see, myself, Seeking Near Mints, and Freddy's 562, we're actually going to do a show this Saturday. We're basically going to touch base maybe a little bit on the Avengers movie. Um, we're going to talk about uh, speculations. Or not speculations, sorry. What books to look for while you're at a con. So what books to shop for while you're at a con. And uh, we're also probably going to talk a little bit about my experience as a vendor. Like being a vendor for the first time. And uh, just in case you're interested in selling books at, at a show like you know, what to expect. Um, like I said, this is my first time, but at least it's kind of like uh, I can give a little bit of uh, insight, I guess. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's going to happen this Saturday. That's going to happen in this channel. And um, the winner will win this, uh, Omega Man number three. First appearance of Lobo. I'll give this as a prize. So all you got to do is sub up Vita Loca 65 and um, flipping out. Like I said, both links will be in the description. All right, so that'll be the prize. Actually, I um, never mind. Anyway, yeah, so this is the prize right here. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's get to the haul. A um, couple of books I picked up that I never got to highlight and never got to show uh, from the previous weeks uh, will be this one right here. Harley Quinn number three, 
This is actually one of those steampunk variants that um, were highly sought after. Uh, Wonder Woman. Uh, Wonder Woman has a steampunk variant out too. Sorry, the, the number skipped my mind. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this one. So this is Harley Quinn number three steampunk variant. Been wanting this book for a while. So super stoked to have this one. Um, I, I can't stop keeping picking up this book right here. Uh, Man Called Nova number one. Um, so the reason I keep picking this book up is because, um, you know what, I'm going to do a small spoiler alert. So if you haven't watched the Avengers movie, this might come as a uh, surprise. But anyway, so Thanos, um, pretty much from the beginning of the movie, he already has the uh, stone that was at uh, Xandar. And uh, sorry, it kind of skips some of my mind which stone was on Xandar. But he pretty much already has that stone. So it's kind of like, said but not said that you know Xandar is destroyed well that's that's the origin of Nova Nova's planet Xandar gets destroyed um, the last Nova Corps member goes to I, I think it's New York and finds a high school kid gives the high school kid um, his power and his uniform Rich uh, Richard Ryder and uh, because so Richard Ryder then becomes Nova uh, sorry I'm stumbling on my words <laughs> sorry it's early but yeah, so, you know, one, I always thought that Nova was a good spec. It's a cheap, I think it's a Bronze Age book. Yeah, cheap Bronze Age book, uh, even in a high grade. But these are one of those books that once something is announced, once something comes up, that's it. Like this book just goes crazy. So I've been trying to pick up a lot of these in high grade only because of, well, one is because of that spec, too. So that that movie actually just kind of made it even more interesting, knowing that Xandar got uh, destroyed and knowing that Nova's origin is actually just like that. It's because of Xandar being destroyed. This next book is something I'm super stoked that I got. Uh, like I said, I got it a couple weeks ago and uh, couldn't be happier that I have this. I've been wanting this book for a while. So... This is Wolverine 145. This is one of those Nabisco variants. Now, it's only a 9.0, but this book in general is just so hard to find. And uh, because it's so hard to find, I was willing to pick up whatever's. And uh, this book does not come cheap. This book does not come cheap. But I was super, super stoked on finally having this. I love Bill Sinkovich. I, I've always liked his work. Some of his newer stuff is coming out right now. I'm like, eh. He has like these Walking Dead ones. I mean... It's okay, but um, yeah, I'm really, really happy to have this one. Uh, I've been wanting this for a while. Check this back cover. Even the back cover is pretty sick, too. Uh, sorry about all that glare, but, you know, sometimes it just shines bright like a diamond. But yeah, check it out. Finally got one. Super, super happy to have that one, man. Cannot believe it. A couple other books that finally uh, came in. Um, this one. As long as I find this on the cheap, I'm going to keep on buying it. So this is the first appearance of Anti-Venom. This is, uh, what is it, Spider-Man 569 second print. Um, as long as I can find these books under $100, I'm going to keep buying them, keep buying them, keep buying them. Um, I really like Anti-Venom. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anyway, little break, right? Anyway, so, yeah, really, really like Anti-Venom. Uh, I'm not speculating anything on this with the whole Venom movie. I just really, really like the character. This is a slightly hard-to-find book, and it's not, it doesn't come by cheap either, too. So definitely, definitely stoked on having this one as well. Now, this book right here, I can't stop buying. <laughs> this is another one I can't stop buying, especially for super cheap um, under 100 bucks, I'll buy it. Sometimes even under 120 if it's a near mint. I just can't stop buying this damn book. But here we go. Detective Comics 880. And the reason I keep buying this book, well, the first time I bought this book is because I like Jock as an artist. The second time I bought this book is because I was kind of doing some studies through forums and through other websites and stuff, just about comics and whatnot. And I kept on seeing people calling this book the um it's like the next modern iconic cover and if you have bought this book yourself even two three years ago you'll notice that this book just keeps climbing and climbing and climbing the demand on this book never stops the, the, there's never a, a uh, 
there's a never a moment where this book is not in demand. Anytime there's a convention or something and this book is up, people are always wanting to see it, always wanting to buy it. So as long as I can find this on the cheap, I keep buying it. And um, I think this is like my third or fourth copy. How does that look like? Does that look cool? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I just I just can't stop buying this book, and uh, I suggest if you find this book under a hundred bucks, go ahead and grab it. Then don't even think twice about it. Next modern iconic cover right here. So, in most cases, that's how people would probably finish their haul with all of those books, because a lot of those books were kind of like not big boy books, but you know, just pretty much awesome books. But I'm actually going to end my video. Uh, talking about the uh, convention that I well, the the show TV and co TV and comic show, the toy <laughs> toy and comic show that I was a vendor at. Uh, so while I was a vendor, I actually had some time to do a little bit of hunting, and um, the last book I'm going to show you is just like, for me at least, it's mind blowing. Like I could not believe. Um, I found the book at the price I found it at. So we're going to dig right into it right now. First of all, my wife found some books. And she wanted me to pick up. So I figured I'd show you guys what my wife picked up. And if you guys know my wife at all, um, she just absolutely loves Scotty Young. So we're about to see some cute-ass books right about now. Um, this first book right here is not a Scotty Young, but she just thought it was an adorable book. So there you go, Secret Empires number zero. And she just thought Rocket and Groot just look super cute. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> super cute books. Uh, she picked up this Scotty Young right here, A versus X. It's also signed um, COA in the back. And uh, yeah, so she picked this one up. Uh, <laughs> so funny, as soon as we got home, she's all like, you better put those in fullbacks and mylar asap so i was all like yes man uh so spawn spawn number 250 another scotty young signed again by scotty young yeah my wife just can't get enough of these cute scotty young books scotty young is actually coming to amazing con so that's going to be actually pretty cool and then this is the latest one she picked up it's, uh this venom uh, number 150 scotty young now when she picked this up I was actually taking a look at it and I was like, well, man, this book is so, so, so clean, like on the edges and everything. And just like it's flat. I was telling you, you know, we might get this signed by Scotty Young and get it slapped. But then she pointed out, she pointed out, not me, but she pointed out that there was like a little tick right there. So she was all like, nah, don't need to. But I was like, damn. Other than that, man, that book is like perfect, like perfect, perfect. PGX 9.9 .9 perfect. <laughs> so, sorry, Alex, I'm just fucking around with you. Um, okay, so the rest of the books are the books that I hunted for while I was at the con. So believe this or not, everything I'm about to show you from this point on costed me about, I want to say $200. It's actually less than that, but I'm just going to say $200 just to just to keep it an even number, but it's actually less than that. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen all of these here, so sorry if it bores you. Um, or this is a point where you can, this is a jump off point, I guess, <laughs> if you're an Instagram follower, because you'd be like, oh yeah, I saw those books. But uh, if you want to know why I picked them up, you might want to stay tuned. And uh, sorry if it's a long video, but you know, you can co always come back and rewatch it and stuff like that. All right, so I picked this one up. Uh, this is Avengers number 71. This is the first appearance of the invaders. So yeah, um, actually, you know what? Quick, quick backstory. So I was at, <laughs> sorry, quick, <laughs> before we do the haul. Okay, so quick. Uh, so if you walked into the, uh, the, the show, I was all the way on the, the back corner on the left-hand side. Uh, Location-wise, of course, it's probably not the best, but it couldn't have been a better location because the vendor I was next to was just like giving shit away. I mean, his prices were just awesome. But because I was actually the vendor next to him, he was actually kind of hooking me up on top of that too. So that's how I end up getting all of these books for cheap because some of these books, the rest of these books were mostly like a dollar, five, five dollars. But he's giving me really good prices on top of the fact that 
I even, uh, that I was just right next to him. Sorry, that's what I meant to say, that I was right next to him. So, yeah, super, super, super stoked. Um, so I'm actually going to start off with a different book, and we'll go back to the Invaders book. But this actually came from another vendor. Um, this was right across from him. So I'm in the back left side of the showroom. Um, the vendor that I got all the other books from for super cheap uh, was right next to me, but right across from him was this vendor right here. Um, so before the show started, and that's one thing really cool about being a vendor is you can start hunting everybody even before the crowd gets in. So that was actually really, really cool. Um, so yeah, one of the guys told me this. This is the most I spent on the book a whole day. The whole day, this is the most expensive book I bought. It cost me 50 bucks. So really happy to have this Adam Hughes Catwoman 51. Just again, iconic cover. Um, this one right here and that jock that I showed you. I, all day, all day, all day, pick them up, especially on the cheap. So I actually found another one. The funny thing is I was actually selling one of my personal ones <laughs> that I had, but then I found this one. So yeah, super stoked. Uh, the one I was trying to sell, it actually had issues. This one has like no issues at all. So very happy about that. Okay, so now, so that was the most expensive book I bought literally all day. The rest of the books um, I got from that vendor that was literally right next to me. And like I said, everything, including that Catwoman that I showed you, everything costed me under $200. Actually, it was even under $170, but whatever, $200. Okay, so going back to where we were. <laughs> Avengers uh, number 71, first appearance of Invaders. Decent copy. Flash number 92, first appearance of Impulse. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. <laughs> X Men 244, first appearance of Jubilee. Pretty decent copy. Small spine roll, but pretty decent copy. So, yeah, happy to have that one. Um, Eternal Warriors, number 25. Um, first bloodshot, or one of those first bloodshot kind of a deal. So, yeah, kept picking this up. I, I know um, the movie's supposed to be coming out, so I figure why not? I'll just go ahead and pick it up and. Uh, See how this does. So yeah, I picked this up for really, really cheap. Well, really cheap now. <laughs> now these days, people are asking 40, 50 bucks for that book. Can't believe I found this for like a super ridiculous cheap price. Uh, Daredevil 168, first appearance of Elektra. So yeah, um, I don't know why I keep picking this damn thing up. I, I mean, there's nothing on it. Maybe that's why. Maybe because there's nothing on Elektra. So that's why I keep picking it up. But yeah, first appearance of Elektra, spelt wrong. But well, whatever. Anyway, there you go. Pick that one up. And I found this in a decent condition. Uh, way better than the one I personally owned before. I actually sold the book off. And then I found this at a really, like, just crazy price. How much did I pay for this? Like 10 bucks? First Man Bat. First Man Bat. That's crazy. I can't believe I found this. I mean, look at the spine. It's actually kind of decent. Yeah, there's a couple of spine ticks and stuff, but um, man, just <laughs> can't believe I found it. The first appearance of Mad Man. So those those books that I just showed you was pretty much the books that I spent like over, I guess over ten bucks, um, either ten bucks or more on. The rest was just like all dollar books. Like everything else was just all dollar books. And uh, kind of running out of room over here. So here we go, ride number zero. Uh, first full blood shot so I picked this one up again the movie's supposed to be coming out thought I'd go ahead and pick this up dollar now um, giant size fantastic four uh, number four this is the first appearance of Madrox supposedly uh, what is that James Franco is supposed to be doing a movie and he's supposed to be playing Madrox so uh, found this one couldn't believe I found that so yeah first appearance of Madrox I found this book just thought it was really I bought it for two reasons. One, I thought it was a really cool, like, Silver Age, just looking cover. Actually, even Golden Age looking cover. Two, it was in, like, beautiful condition. I don't know if I can show it to you. I mean, there's wrinkles, of course. Hawaii's humidity will do that to your book. But look at the colors, man. They pop really, really nice. It's actually um, one of those, uh, what do they call those? 
bond books, what do they call those things? I forget, square bond, square bond books. And um, it, it's actually kind of, you know, centered actually pretty nicely. And um, yeah, that's pretty much why I picked this book up. I think this is a Bronze Age book. I don't think this is a Silver Age book. I didn't really look at the date. It could be a Silver Age book, but look how beautiful it pops. Like this thing is just gorgeous. Uh, and apparently it has an origin of the Human Torch in this thing as well. So that's why I picked that one up. This next book is a book, Master X Splinter, or The Real Master X. I don't know what he goes by now. Um, we'll be happy that I picked up because it's something not a lot of people would know about. But it's something that, you know, those like those hunters, uh, those those kind of hunting people like uh, Tuamua, Vin Crew, Weapon X, Longshanks, Master X, like those kind of people, they'd be proud of me for actually picking this up. So this is Star Slayer number two. Uh, this is the first appearance of the Rocketeer. Uh, there's and towards the back, um, there's a uh, Dave Stevens story with the Rocketeer. So there you go. First appearance of Rocketeer. I know those guys would be proud of me for picking this up for a dollar. So. <laughs> um, Incredible Hulk, number 330. First time Todd McFarlane worked on the Hulk. I'm not too sure. I don't think it's the first time Todd McFarlane worked in Marvel. I think it's just the first time he worked on the Hulk. So Hulk 330. Oh, and then I just found like a bunch of these, um, what do you call just a bunch of Marvel zombie stuff. So they, they pretty much go for a dollar, but I just thought it was cool. So Marvel Zombies and Army of Darkness. Uh, this is number five. So there you go. Pick that one up. Uh, Fantastic Four, number 23. So this is the, uh, this is pretty much part of that Marvel Zombies uh, storyline. So I just picked that one up for a dollar. All of these for a dollar. Young Avengers, number one, first appearance of Kate Bishop, the uh, the new female Hawkeye. So, there you go. Not too sure why I picked up this book. I think I just picked it up because I like the cover. But anyway, so Final Crisis, number six of seven, sketch variant. Um, really nothing, just, I don't know. I just like the cover, so I just picked it up. Uh, I'm not... Okay, so I wasn't looking for number eight. I was trying to look for number seven. It has that Moon Knight and Deadpool crossover. I'm not too sure if it's the first time they met. I want to say it might be, but I'm not too sure. But um, number seven is the one that goes for money. So this is number eight. So Moon Knight number eight. Uh, Vengeance of Moon Knight number eight. But I was actually looking for number seven. But anyway, I picked it up because usually uh, people, when they buy this, they usually buy the set. They want seven and eight together. So there you go. I don't know why I bought this, but I did. So I'm not even gonna talk about it. <laughs> uh, found this Ultimate Iron Man number one variant. It's one of those foil variants, so whatever. So it pretty much goes for a dollar, but I just wanted to pick it up. Uh, going back to all the zombie books I picked up, Marvel Zombies, Arguing Your Darkness number two. This is the uh, X-Men 268 homage, just like that. But uh, of course they're not zombies. This is uh, Marvel Zombies number two, number three. Um, so this is the Tales of Suspense 39 homage right here for Iron Man. Just pick that up. Again, all of these for a dollar. Uh, Marvel Zombies number four or five. Uh, this is Nick Fury number four homage. So there you go. Pick this one up. The cool thing about this is it kind of, even though these are Marvel Zombie homages and stuff, they actually kind of give you a really good idea if you don't know what kind of books to pick up because uh, if they're doing an homage on a book more than likely that means that book is, is either a key book or it's a minor key or an iconic book so you know just kind of keep that in mind as well yeah i found this marvel zombies number two and uh, super super stoked on finding this one um it again it doesn't go for much it's just i like the the original cover a silver surfer number four and that's where they borrowed this cover from and I just really, really like it. I like it so much that I actually picked up uh, two of them. <laughs> but yeah, it's just such a great cover. This book itself, like I said, doesn't go for much. But um, it's just such an iconic cover. And then Arthur Sudam just did a really, really awesome job on that. Um, this is Invaders number eight. So this is uh, Union Jack's second appearance. I think it's Union Jack's first appearance on a cover as well. I'm pretty sure about that. I think this is his first cover appearance but it's actually the second appearance of uni jack so invaders number seven is his uh, first appearance 
Um, X-Men 283, first full bishop. Just picked it up. Iron Man 219, uh, first appearance of ghosts. So this is supposed to be the villain in the Ant-Man and Wasp movie. Uh, supposedly, though, the villain is not a he, it's a she, but same thing. Coming out as a ghost. So, yeah, Iron Man 219. So, finally got me a copy of this. <laughs> well, I didn't want to buy it on eBay. I wanted to find it in the wild, and I did. So, very happy. All right. So, before I get to, like, the last... Actually, you know what? And I found one of these Venom Lethal Protector number one red foil there. All right. So, before I get to the last four books. I gotta tell you a little story. <laughs> so basically what happened is that we're done with the show, we're done with the con. Uh, the show, it's not a con. So we're done with the show where everybody's packing up, all the vendors are packing up. So again, the vendor right next to me, he pulls out like this little small box, like little small brown box. He puts it on the table and he goes, hey, you wanna check these books out? These are all uh, Venom related books. And then so I go up to him and I go, where was the uh, where was this book? Where was this box the whole time? And he goes, oh, I didn't want to compete with my cousin right next to me. So, you know, if you want to take a look, you can go through them. And then he goes, uh, they're all they're all a dollar a piece. And then he goes and then he showed me some trade paperbacks. And then he goes, uh, these are two dollars. So I found this um, Venom Returns. And so this is the back cover of the Venom Lethal Protector book. And so this is the back cover right here. And I just thought it was cool because I knew it was a back cover. But yeah, so this is the Venom Returns. Supposedly this trade paperback goes for about like 20 bucks. But um, again, like I said, he gave it to me for a dollar. So, uh, no, two dollars, two dollars. So I picked that one up. And then he goes, yeah, so everything in the brown box is uh, one dollar a piece. So I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, he's like, I'll look through it. Like I said, you know, the show's already done. And, um, you know, I'm just, he, he never brought it out. So I looked through it. So I found this. So Venom Leap to Protector, number one. I found another one, right? And then I find another Venom Leap to Protector, number one. So it's like, okay, cool. I'm finding this stuff. So, but check this out. So I, I'm in the short box. I'm in the short box. And I'm digging, right? And I pull this one out. And then I find this. Oh my God! Pow! One dollar. One dollar. I couldn't stop talking about this damn book the whole day. <laughs> as soon as I got in my car, as soon as I packed up everything, I put this on Instagram. And I told everybody the one dollar stuff by other day. <laughs> so stoked! So for you guys that don't know what this is, this is Venom Lethal Protector number one, the same as this book right here, but it's called the Gold Foil Variant. Um, I guess it's a printing error, but. Um, or maybe not. Maybe it's just a gold foil variant. But anyway, long story short, um, I found this book for one dollar. Um, this book can sell anywhere between maybe two hundred fifty to three hundred dollars. Maybe oh, two to three hundred dollars. Two hundred to three hundred dollars, uh, depending on the day and all of that stuff. So, yeah. This is why I showed all the big books in the front, and then I showed the dollar books at the end because of this thing right here. So yeah, super stoked. Anyway, so don't forget, <laughs> uh, don't forget to um, sum up the two guys that I, I leave a link for, Vita Loca 65 and flipping out. Like I said, this Saturday, we'll announce a winner for, um, just all you got to do is sub them up, um, hit their notification bell, come back to this video, let me know that you um, sub them up, and then I'll enter you into a contest. To win, um, where is that book? And to win this Omega Man number three, first appearance on Lobo. All right, that's all you got to do is just sub them up, let me know. And then don't forget, uh, we're going to announce the winner Saturday. 
at um, on this channel here myself seeking near Freddy's 562 hopefully we can get Alex and Master X on there too if not that's cool but us three like I said we'll talk about Avengers we'll talk about what books to look for when you're at a con because con seasons kind of already started but you know there's still going to be more cons coming up during the summertime so just kind of give you an idea of books that you might want to hunt for and it's going to be a show basically aimed at hunters not so much people that kind of already know what they want but this is basically aimed at hunters and then i kind of just talk about my experience as a vendor as well all right that's pretty much about it thank you uh sorry for the ugly background or whatever it is but uh yeah shoots emma hollis